So one thing I wanted to ask you about is your, your episode in college. So, so I'm working at the computer lab because nerds, that's what we do, we work at computer labs. And, um, and I was like obnoxious and I was like, <laughs> fuck the man and nonconformist and you know, yeah, I don't care about anything and that, you know, whatever. I was really annoying. And I had a, a, real I had a I had, my girlfriend at the time went to this small college in Pennsylvania. And, um, and so I decided to be super cool and like hack the mail server. This is like 95. So this is like when email was pretty new and the internet was pretty new. And I hacked very easily, like they, they, there was no security because nobody, nobody knew anything at the time. So I hacked their email servers and sent an email out basically saying, you know, you know, this college sucks and, you know, and, you know, this is your, this is, you know, whatever, like, you know, take down the system. And like, I was just trying to impress my girlfriend. I wrote this dumb thing. Oh man. <clears throat> All from my workstation where I was working at the computer lab. <laughs> Where they easily trace the IP back oh, no. and the timestamp oh, of no. oh who was working there then yeah and I uh, so immediately so got fired oh. <laughs> and was put on academic probation and oh. uh, that's when I stopped hacking there wow. you go gotcha sorry yeah that's when I was like this is not for me but hmm. like the the thing about hackers. Because it's the weird thing is, is that it's not about going onto a system and like looking through the code and seeing. So I'm having some 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 sort of nirvana experience uh, in this at the screen. Hacking is all about like finding flaws and exploiting flaws and finding human mistakes in systems. Mm. And sometimes it's not necessarily even anything on a computer. It's like one of the one of the hacks, one, like you know, the popular hacks that people do is the phishing scams, which don't involve anything but getting someone to be tricked into Giving taking a CD or, or oh, picking that. up a USB on a, on a park, in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is, is that because a lot of my friends were in tech and some of them were hackers, the, the, there's, a, there's a subculture there that's kind of interesting. And they do feel, uh, uh, I don't mean to generalize, it's not all of them, but a lot of them do feel a little ostracized. And a lot of them do have a lot of social anxiety. Um, this was never, per I mean, John Travolta does not have social anxiety in Swordfish, does no, he? No, I mean, he's quirky, but no. No. <laughs> yeah. um, more, of a, more of a fanboy than a nerd. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Angelina Jolie. Right, and hackers. Will and never that. have social anxiety. No, right? no. So I, anyway, that, that was, the, it was the, it, again, I go back to character, the psychology of a hacker, I just right. never saw portrayed. Well, this was part of what I, what I found so striking about the show was sort of, it's all about power on the surface, but it's also all about kind of alienation and loneliness yeah. and dislocation and, and um, the sort of bizarre way in which Elliot's actually trying to, he's hacking these people to find a, connection. forge a connection with yeah. them. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe you could talk a little bit of, a little bit more about that as a kind of theme that runs through. You know, I did want to talk about loneliness, but I felt like the irony of this whole, because I wanted to talk about loneliness in the context of today in the context of modern technology, how supposedly all these tools are there meant to connect us, mm -hmm. um, but how it, it actually feels like it's isolating us even more. And the one thing that the irony of the, of the whole thing with Elliot is that he knows all, the, all these intimate details about everybody around him, but he doesn't know them. And that's the trap that I think technology kind of lures us into. So if we, oh, you know, look, baby pictures and, you know, okay, so I got my fill of Aunt, you know, Jenny and she's, because I've seen her baby pictures and I don't need to actually call her or talk to her. Or maybe I'll just send a text. Mm -hmm. um, an emoji. What, an emoji. Yeah. My emotions will be a smiley face or a whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not, I mean, and then that's it. And then it stops there. Right. And what, what are going to be the, you know, what are the side effects of that? Um, and I, I remember there was a TED talk that actually said there was a, some survey taken from the 60s to now where a person per square footage is actually, in, the, in America, it's actually more. And we have less best friends we would call, consider best friends. Mm. So we're, we're, we're getting more lonely and we're getting more physically more isolated, mm. which I think has a lot to do with technology, unfortunately, because I think it gives the illusion of intimacy. And I think that's sort of the thing that we've been able to mine with Elliot and sort of the irony of his character, like 
do the, it does the details that you put out there and the personality that you put out there is that actually the same thing as knowing the person.